Okay, raise your hand if you ate dinner last night. <laughs> Keep your hand up if you cooked any of that dinner yourself. Keep your hand up if you grew any part of what you cooked last night. Keep your hand up if you grew all of what you cooked and what you ate last night. No hands still up in the air. Well, the picture is very different in sub-Saharan Africa. Almost a billion people, about uh, 230 of them are women between the ages of 15 and 64. And of those, about two-thirds, 160 million women, are the farmers responsible for feeding those billion people. Now, today, Africa still imports about $30 billion worth of food annually, when the continent could readily support locally all of the food needs of all of its population. What's wrong? Why are there repeated food crises? The problems are very weak agricultural policies, outmoded gendered land tenure policies where women can't own land after their husbands or their families die, certainly inefficient markets and lack of access to credit, climate change, the list goes on and on. But this situation could be transformed. It could be transformed readily and easily. Doing so requires mobilizing the women of Africa. They are the power that really could lead to agricultural change, indeed economic change for the whole continent. What does this actually require? It re requires reorganizing across the whole value chain. First, breeding more effective, more efficient seeds that are more drought resistant and more pest resistant, working on soil health so that there's less reliance on scarce resources like fertilizer and water. It means creating access to market information and weather information, even in the most remote villages, even in the poorest nations, by le leveraging the explosion of mobile technology. And it means reorganizing the markets by actually building geographic agricultural corridors along which women agro-entrepreneurs could develop businesses, along which housing would develop and families would flourish and the roots of economic prosperity would take hold. The kind of system I'm talking about is complex. It's, it's a system and it sounds very difficult, but at the heart of it is a key singular notion. And that is the key to economic security, the key to food security for Africa is empowering the women. Due to all of their daily challenges, the women of Africa are resilient and innovative. They are energetic entrepreneurs. So our effort is really to unlock the system, to in unleash that spirit, to unleash it and reward it. Think of this not only as a great idea worth spreading, but as a revolution worth sparking. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.